When you're operating on the fire ground, it's important to understand that high pressure gases flow to low pressure. This is a basic fire dynamics principle that explains why ventilation works. As a fire develops in a compartment, the heated products of combustion expand, creating an increase in pressure. When you make ventilation changes to the structure by opening a door or taking a window, you're creating a new low pressure and a flow path. A flow path is the areas within a structure where heat, smoke, and air flows from an area of higher pressure to lower pressure. It's composed of at least one intake vent, one exhaust vent, and the connecting volume between the vents. This flow path can be used for your tactical advantage, such as indicating the location of the fire for the advancing hose crew, or to your detriment as hot gases flow from a bedroom fire to a door passing over your search crew, forcing a retreat. Here's an experiment that's an excellent example of fire flowing from high pressure to low pressure during different stages of the fire. We ignite the fire in the living room on the first floor of this two-story townhouse. As that fire increases in size, the temperature increases, which increases the pressure, which has the products of combustion flow out of that second floor window that's halfway open. You'll see light smoke start to come out of that second floor window as that first floor pressure increases. That window acts as the low pressure and will continue to do so until the fire on the first floor runs out of oxygen. Once the fire on the first floor runs out of oxygen, it's going to change the pressure. It's going to be looking for oxygen, so it's going to try and pull oxygen from around the front door. You'll see the smoke puffing at the front door. When it can't get any oxygen through that front door, the temperatures are going to decrease. As the temperatures on the first floor decrease, the pressure decreases. As that pressure decreases, it's actually going to go into a negative pressure. As you see, no more smoke is coming out of that second floor window until the first floor door gets opened. Once that door gets opened, it creates a new flow path. Air goes in in the lower half of the door, hot gases come out the top half of the door, and as that fire begins to increase in size, you also get those gases flowing up that second floor to the low pressure out of that bedroom window leading this fire to transition to flashover.